Hi, this is Jeff Foster with Smart Sound. Today we're going to look at the new plugin for Premiere Pro CC 2014 for Smart Sound. This is going to allow us to do a round trip creation and import directly into our Premiere Pro project utilizing Sonic Fire Pro 5. Now, typically, I would use a workflow where I would go to Sonic Fire Pro 5, find the clip that I want, create it on the timeline, uh, then export an AIF, import it into Premiere, uh, put it on the timeline here in my sequence, and then if I wanted to edit it, I'd try to go back and I'd try to make this thing work back and forth. And it works okay that way. But with this plugin, you cut most of those steps out. In fact, I don't even need to go to Sonic Fire Pro 5 first. I'm going to start right here in Premiere. So I've got my uh, project here. I've got a sequence with a bunch of uh, aerial video clips in here. Uh, shot along the California coast here and in the Bay Area and Santa Cruz up and down the area here. I, I like to fly the drones a bit. So uh, I want to add kind of an exciting soundtrack to this. I've got one in mind from the library, so we don't have to spend a lot of time searching for it. So I know kind of what I want, but I don't want to have to uh, go through that that typical workflow. So in this case, I know that I've got uh, this sequence. It ends at a minute 30. And it's really important that you take a look at that first because you're going to have to set your time in uh, Sonic Fire Pro 5 so that when you export it, it does come back the right length. You can go back and forth, and we're going to do that as far as some editing is concerned too, but it's good to have an idea of about how long you want it to be before you get started. So I know that I want it to end at 1.30, so I just come here to my project panel in Premiere Pro, and I click File, New. I come down to Smart Sound. And I just, uh, it's going to see, well, that's the uh, frame rate that you're working in. I don't really care about my video settings because it's just going to bring in audio anyway. So I click OK, and that's going to launch Sonic Fire Pro 5 for me. OK, so I have an idea of what I want to use, and I know the name of the clip. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it in all round. OK, here it is. It's just kind of a Celtic sound. And then I come down here in my Smart Sound Express track and I just make sure that it's one minute 30. Okay. I can just do a little preview here of what it's going to sound like. Okay, I don't need to listen to the full minute 30 of that. I know what it's going to do for me. So I'm just going to come down here, and this is where it's really fast. I just click Send, and you can see it's rendering out this AIF, and it automatically brings it right into my project panel here in Premiere Pro. And I can just grab that thing, stick it down here in my sequence, and I can play. Okay, so typically what I would do is use the music to help me with some of my edit points. So I've got a few here that it might be a little bit rough. I can just use my rolling edit tool here and grab a couple of these, pull those around a little. And I know there's one here that right about in there. So maybe I can pull this one up a little bit. There we go. That way it hits right on the beat. So I can go down there and use the rolling edit tool and make my 
uh, edits match the actual soundtrack. And that's just a little trick here in Premiere Pro. Now, what if I wanted to change the ending a little bit? Well, let's go back down here and listen to what our ending is like, just from the default from Sonic Fire Pro 5. So that's a little abrupt. I'd like it to maybe fade out a little. So all I have to do is, since I brought this in through the plugin, I just come out here to my project panel, double click the AIF file, and that launches Sonic Fire Pro 5 again. And now I can work on this actual clip and see what I can do to change the ending. I could make it uh, maybe shorter. If I wanted it to end earlier, just drag it down. If I want it to end a little later, I can drag it down that way. Uh, I can add um, mood markers along the way. Those are all the, the typical edits you can make inside Sonic Fire Pro 5. Well, I'm going to come over here to Timing Control, click that, and I can see what my uh, endings are like. And since I just moved that around, I may end up with another ending here. Let's see what it is. <music> Okay, hey, that fades out pretty nice. I might be able to pull this back just a little bit here, just so that it fades a little sooner. There we go. Okay, say I like that. I'm done. That's all I wanted to do is just smooth out that ending. I just come up here to File, then Send to Plugin Host. And notice that Adobe Premiere is something that you can select. Click that. Again, it exports it for me. I don't have to do anything else. Boom, there it is right here in my project. I don't even have to drag it back down here to uh, my sequence. It automatically updates it for me. So let's listen to this ending. So that's nice and smooth. I might want to drag that out a little more. So there you go. That's the new round trip workflow using the new Smart Sound plugin for Premiere Pro CC 2014. This is Jeff Foster for Smart Sound.